Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast Jan. I am Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma has signed on a special gamosa, a good luck gamosa, to send his best wishes to boxer Lovlina Borgohai, who will participate in the Paris Olympics. Lovlina, a bronze medalist at the 2020 Tokyo Games, will attempt to upgrade her medal this time. This time, Lovlina happens to be the lone athlete from Assam to represent the country in the Olympics. Amidst the devastating floods disrupting the normal lives of humans as well as animals, a sensational incident shocked the residents of Margarita in Tinsukia district after a wild elephant was found dead under mysterious circumstances in the Makum Pathar area on Thursday. Locals informed that the male wild elephant had been wreaking havoc in the area by destroying homes in the past few days. A shocking incident unfolded in Chirang district of Assam for following the disappearance of an 18-year-old girl after she fell from a wooden bridge built over the Kujia River in Rabhapara village on Thursday. The incident took place around 3.30 p.m. when she was traveling on a scooter with her two-year-old niece when she fell from the wooden bridge along with her vehicle. The child was rescued in an injured condition and is currently receiving treatment at a hospital. A tragedy struck in Assam's Galpara district after a bo boat carrying people capsized on Thursday, leading to four, four deaths while one individual is still missing. The incident unfolded in Simli Tola under the Rangjuli police station. According to information received, a tragic mishap occurred when the people on the boat were on their way back from a crematorium. With the death of another rhino in Assam's Kaziranga so far, 10 rhinos have been lost to flooding in the state. This took the animal death toll to 174 as floods continue to take its toll on Assam. The latest report from Kaziranga Authority stated that so far 10 rhinos, 144 hog deer and 2 each of swamp deer and sambar have died due to drowning in the national park. Minister for Development of Northeastern Region and Communications Jyoti Aditya Shindia arrived in Guwahati on Friday as part of his two day visit to the northeastern states of Meghalaya and Assam. Shindia is slated to chair a review meeting at the NEC Secretariat, Nongrim Hills, Shillong, with officials from MDONA, NEC, and the state government to discuss the progress of various projects and initiatives in the region. A tragic accident occurred near Sisini, close to Makha Singbel, East Sikkim, on Friday when a taxi travelling from Lingi to Singtam was struck by a large falling rock, leaving one dead and several injured. Following the incident, the injured have been taken to the hospital for further treatment. Sikkim is currently isolated from the rest of the country due to landslides with no road or air connectivity. Media reports suggest that this situation could last for at least three days. Security forces conducted extensive search operations and area domination exercises in the fringe and vulnerable areas of Manipur, Hill and Valley districts. This effort led to notable recoveries aimed at enhancing regional security. The recoveries were made on July 10, 2024 from Salam Patong in Thobal district. The Supreme Court granted interim bail to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in the Delhi excise policy case on Friday. The apex court, while referring to his petition challenging the arrest by the Enforcement Directorate, has sent the case to a larger bench. A terrifying incident occurred in Nepal after a massive landslide swept two buses carrying 63 people into the Trishuli River. The incident unfolded on Nepal's modern Ashrit Highway amid heavy downpours in the region during the wee hours of Friday. Police, police personnel from the Nepal Disaster Management Training School, Kurintar, have initiated their rescue operation. That's all the news we have for today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.